the side, shake up and down, and shake one leg, the other leg, and shake the whole body. The legs apart, hands in front of the body, and head up, and down, and up, and down, and dropping the head, half circle to the left, and half circle to the right, again half circle to the left, and half circle to the right, and hands in front of the body and clap. And work the palms together. Feel the heat between your palms and tapping the fingertips. And massage the palm. And massage the other palm. And palm on the back of the wrist and rotate. And reverse. And switching palms, rotate. And reverse. And grabbing onto the forearms, pull out through the fingertips and release. Again, grasp the forearm, pull out and release. And hands behind the back of the neck, pressing down against the front of the body. Pulling up against the back of the legs and cross in front, around the back, pressing down, pulling up, and shake it out. Fingertips in the chest rotating out. And reverse. And my circles rotate. And reverse. And letting the arms swing freely, twist the body. And extend the palm. And palm to the rear. But oh, hands on hips and rotate. And reverse. And large circle to the left. And reverse. And bring the feet and knees together, bend the knees and rotate. And reverse. Bend. Straight. Bend. Straight. Put your feet shoulder width apart, hands on your thighs, and left shoulder to right knee. And right shoulder to left knee. Again, left shoulder to right knee. And right shoulder to left knee. And grab onto the ankles. Bend. 
Great. Bend. And straight. Exhale down. Inhale all the way up. And exhale out. And shake out the whole body. Right leg back. Funny stance. Jimmy. Double punch. Hana. Ha. Do. Set. Ne. Toss. Yes. Elga. Yaru. Aha. Yo. And switch. Hana. Do. Set. Ne. Toss. Yes. Elga. Yaru. Aha. Yo. And switch. High block. Center punch. Hana. Do. Set. Ne. Toss. Yes. Elba. Yaru. Aha. Yo. And switch. Hana. Do. Set. Ne. Toss. Yes. Elba. Yaru. Aha. Yo. And switch. Low block. Center punch. Hana. Do. Set. Ne. Toss. Yes. Elga. Yaru. Aha. Yo. And switch. Hana. Do. Set. Ne. Toss. Yes. Elga. Yaru. Aha. Yo. And switch. Inside block, center punch. Hana. Do. Set. Ne. Toss. Yes. Doga. Yaru. Aha. Yo. And switch. Hana. Do. Set. Ne. Toss. Yes. Doga. Yaru. Aha, yo, and switch. Outside block, press up. Hana, do, set, net, toss, yes, elga, yaru, aha, yo, and switch. Hana, do, set, net. Toss. Yes. Elga. Yaru. Aha. Yo. And switch. And forward knee strike. Hana. Do. Set. Ne. Toss. Yes. Elga. Yaru. Aha. Yo. And switch. Hana. Do. Set. Ne. Toss. Yes. Elga. Yaru. Aha. Yo. And switch. Front kick. Hana. Do. Set. Ne. Toss. Yes. Elga. Yaru. Aha. Yo. And switch. Hana. Do. Set. Ne. Toss. Yes. Elga. Yaru. Aha. Yo. And switch. Turn kick. Alternating sides. Hana. Do. Set. Ne. Toss. Yes. Elga. Yellow. Aha. Yo. Ten more. Hana. Do. Set. Ne. Toss. Yes. 
Então já. Yo. Aha. Yo. Good. And step behind. Side kick. Put it down and back to place with back. Let's add a back fist. Back fist. Step behind, side kick. Put it down and back to place. Your arms are up. Right leg is back. your feet out as far as they'll go, and walk your hips back, sitting down on the mat. And stretch the spine up. Exhale down to the left. Coming up, stretch the spine. Exhale down to the right. up, stretch the spine, and exhale forward. And keeping the torso forward, walk the upper body to the left. And keeping the torso forward, walk the upper body to the right. And upper body back to center. And coming up, extend the arms parallel to the floor, 
and send energy out through your fingertips. Exhale over to the left. Looking up at the ceiling and opening up the rib cage. And coming up, arms parallel to the floor, and exhale over to the right. And coming up, bring your arms forward and exhale forward. And sitting up, cup the hands and inside, outside, and stomach, chest, and shoulders, inner and outer arms, and the base of the neck. And bring the feet together for butterfly stretch. Stretch the spine up, stomach and chest forward. And sitting up, extend the legs, tuck the left leg in, stretch up, and exhale forward. Sitting up, switch legs, stretch up, and exhale forward. Sitting up, extend both legs, stretch up, and exhale forward. Good. And ready for mat warm up number one at your own pace and begin. And mat warm up number two. And that warm up number three. And that warm up number four. Number nine. Pro and on your back. Hands under your hips. Extend the legs, leg raises at your own pace. Thank you. And your arms to the side, legs to the left and right. Over. Oh, bring your knees into the chest and inhale and exhale. And dropping your knees to the left and looking in the opposite direction. And knees back to center, dropping your knees to the right and looking in the opposite direction. And knees back to center, 
Feet flat on the mat, sit ups. One short, one long, and begin. Cobra stretch. Palms under your shoulders, pressing up, and exhale down. Again, pressing up, and exhale down. And push back onto your thighs and stretch your arms in front of you. And forward into two fist push up position. At your own pace, and begin. Stretch back, switch the arms in front of you, and sitting up on your thighs. Extend your left arm in front, palm up, bring it all the way to the rear, bring it in front, and hug it in. And extend the other arm, palm up, bring it to the rear, bring it in front, and hug it in. And stretching your shoulder behind your back, And the other way. Again, stretching your shoulder behind your back. And the other way. Good. And forward into double wide push up position. At your own pace and begin. Center and turn to the right, lower your back knee and slide the legs apart. And turn back to center, walk your feet into shoulder width and grab onto your ankles and bend. Straight and and straight. Exhale down. Inhale all the way up. And exhale out and shake out the whole body. Face front, chin up. Ping in. Are you one ready? Ah, hut, do, hut, set, hut, net, hut, toss, hut, yes, hut, build up. Yo! Ha! Aha! Ha! Yo! Ha! And let go. And three fighting tiger one day. 
Scary shirt. No <laughs> uniform. Okay, facing this way. One, two. Back to center. Same way. One, two. Back to center. What side? One, two. Hands inside, outside, muscle. Inside, outside. One, two. Now, in and yang together, feet and hands. So, one, two. Again, one. Both hands are play. Two. Again. One. Two. So if you remember from last week, I told you we can move with the hand on the outside and with the hand on the inside. Okay, so you have both, you can do one. So now you're gonna move one, two. One movement. Opponent is coming, and he's not I'm coming to you. Okay, so watch. I'm coming like this. I'm not coming like that. Okay? Raise yourself. It's coming like this. Understand? Check. So. Opponent is coming. Like right though. What the heck? Understand? That's how it works. And it works if you do the work. Right? So. If they come at a medium speed, a medium speed, right? They're there. Look, look, look the position. Look what's available. Look what's available. Look what's available. If they come very fast, right? A little different. So they come faster. Not much available. But now you're set and ready. Okay, there it is, right? If they want you, they're gonna turn back for you. Slow motion. Right? Understand? If they want you, they're gonna turn back for and, and by the way, coming back this way, I still have a choice. This way, right? And take that knee out right there. Brings the whole building down, right? Side kick. Let's say right there. This way, take the knee out this way, what brings the whole building down. Understand? Okay, thank you. So, okay, so what are you gonna do? We're gonna move one and drop that low side kick to that leg. Two, then three, and four. Again, one, two, three, four. Let's see what we got. We're gonna do slow first, so I can check. And I'm the attacker. Hana! Put all together. Good, again. Full. Good. Set. Uh huh. Next. Good. 
I saw. Good. Now with some speed. So now, I need to see every black belt. The kick goes out, bring it back in before you place it down, right? It doesn't go out and fall. Right? Bring it back in. Okay, ready. Now with some speed. And no! Okay, kick lower. You're kicking here. You gotta kick lower there. Target. Boom! Lower. Kick lower. Set! Better. Remember, when you do the low side kick, it's not moving with this leg stiff and doing this. No, you gotta put your weight, your weight has to go down, down, right? You're here to do damage, understand? If you just kick the leg that way, it may hurt the leg. They may feel it tomorrow. You want them to feel it today. And you want them to be immobilized, right? So again, ready, let's be. Good. Boom. Set. 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 Good. Now, other side. Move slowly. Over first. One. Push him off. Two. Again. One. Two, again, one, two, good. Now upper body, inside, one, two, again, one, two. As, as I said before, you can move, look, it's on the outside, look. Here's the inside block, the second one moving on the outside, like in one kang form, but also look one on the inside, two like basic knife form. So depending on your speed, if you can use a little more speed, inside is better, right? If you're very fast, outside you can catch it. So now let's put them together so slowly. One. Two, again, one, two, again, one, two, okay, now put one, two together, let's see it slowly, now, good, again, not too fast, pull, pull, good, again, set, again, Next. Bend both legs. Both, there you go. Again. Asa. Both legs bent. Cat, good. Okay, now, no speed. Ready? No! Good. Pull! Good. Set! Good, okay, we got it. Now, you wanna move. Lift. Drop the side kick, turn this foot, drop your weight. Drop your hammer fist, drop your weight. Do that also. Notice my other hand is ready. It's not here. It's not hanging out waiting for its turn. But when I kick, my hands are up. One, there it is, and two. Turn your body, drop your weight. Ready. And no. Oh, kick the knee, not the thigh. But you're gonna have to cry. You got a fight in your hand. So remember this, martial arts is no fighting art. It's the finishing art. You don't fight, you finish. You do this wrong, you have to fight. Usually the fighters lose. Keep that in mind. Okay, accuracy, understand? Even a gun is useless if you don't shoot the right place, understand? So make sure, kick low right here. Don't just throw your foot in the area. Throwing the foot in the, over there and the way that's throwing the foot, no good. That's for sports, bad sports too. 
Okay, you got to be exact. If you're exact, if you're 94 pounds and the person is 250 pounds, they come for you, you take them down, they're screaming, they go to the hospital, you go home. If you're not exact, maybe you never make it home again. Understand? That's the difference. Okay, so accuracy. Again, ready? Enough! Good. Boom! Remember, bring it back in chamber. Set! Good. Knit! Okay, there are two hammer fists for a reason, right? Put your body weight in that first one. Drop your body weight. Again, ready? Good. your body. You have to turn kick. Turn in. Pop. Then look. You got to drop. You got to drop. Pop. You got to put your weight down there. You can't do this. Okay? Look. Understand? That's not it. Okay? And that will be a disaster if you have to use it. Imagine a parachute. 
You had it for a long time. Oh, it's time to use it. It don't work. Life preserver, had it for a long time. All over the board. Don't work. Martial arts, you practice a while. You go to use it, it doesn't work. What do you do then? Hope you said the prayers earlier. Understand? So get it right. So you move in this way. I'm actually not moving to the side. I'm moving slightly this way, slightly that way, right? And I'm turning my body. When I move, I'm moving this way. So I'm not moving this way. I'm not moving like that and throwing my foot out. It's no good, right? I'm moving. See my position? See my hips? So now I can turn. I can turn in and then I can drop. And then I drop my weight. Drop my weight and then drop my weight some more. Understand? We're going to do it slowly. Here's the speed. So I'm moving like that way. Look at how I step. See my hips? Just a little bit. A little bit, right? So I can turn my hips in when I kick. So I step, one, and two behind, two, three, four. Back, then the other side. Not too fast, but we can speed. One, all right, I'm gonna turn this. Two, down, and four. Good, that's the speed. Nice and smooth, all right, not too fast. Come on, let's go fast. And your turn kick is a little butt right now. Stand, sir. Maybe you're at a wedding. You want to hurt your body. Okay, ready. Let's see. Slowly. Now. Good. Other side. Pull. Set. Good. Net. Assault. Two hammer fists. Yes, sir. Where's the second? Where's the first hammer fist? Dilla. Good. You know. personal warm-up before class. Understand? And reverse. If you want to do mediocre martial arts and reverse, then you develop mediocre practices. Okay, so I'm looking at some of your hips. Some of you get tight already. We're not doing too much. So you have to do a minimum. The bare minimum is 10 minutes. Should be like 20, actually, 20 to 30 minutes. Danielle's here early, right? I'm sure of that. Understand? Yeah. You can't put your uniform on, come out and jump into class. Here it is. No. <laughs> no good. You won't be here for long. I can't, I can only take you so far. So make sure you do your work. Okay, that's your body. You got it for life. So keep that, keep that thing sharp and strong. Now, so some of your hips are getting tight. You have to do more, okay? You can't come to class just on Saturday. Do no warm up and then come to class and say, okay, Daniel, warm me up. Okay, you got to do your own warm up. Understand? And during the week, you cannot sit, you can't, can't lay in bed seven to eight hours, wake up, go to the bathroom, do you do, then sit at the table, sit, have breakfast, wake up, then go to the office or the train, whatever, sit again, and then go sit for, for six, seven hours. Then come home on the train, sit, then get home, have dinner, sit, go to the toilet, sit, then go back to bed. You understand? 
That's what some of you are doing. Okay, do better. Understand? Sir. All right, you want something to work for you? You gotta, you gotta invest a little bit of effort. Okay, so now, go like this, it's back like this. Some of you are feeling it right here because I'm looking how you're kicking. Yes. Now come forward, come all the way down. Bend your legs, bend the legs. So some of you feel that in the lower part of your back. If you're feeling that, I'm just saving your life right now. You better make sure you do this a lot. Straighten the legs, keep the body forward. Inhale up, back, and exhale. Share the wrists, ankles, share the body. Now it's only school I see the older people do so much better than the younger people. Okay, now, um, Olga. Sir. So, we, we did for someone coming at you. You don't know if they're coming to choke. You don't know if they're coming to grab. You don't know if they're coming to push you. Train tracks. You don't know if they're coming to grab with one hand and then tumble. You don't know. That's why you gotta be able to move fast. But sometimes, you got stuff like this. Here's a bottle. Here's a hammer, all right? All right, all right, slowly. <laughs> Same thing, it's coming, I move, pop. I... By the way, if you've been training correctly, then you have the full range, understand? Full range, face, throat, groin, full range, right? But if you haven't trained correctly, if you don't have that, you know when it's time when it's when it's time to take some action, your life depends on it, you can use the techniques that you can depend on once you've been training for, understand? So those of you who, who can, right? He comes, I move a hit right in there. When I hit here, his head's gonna snap back. But before he goes down, I'm gonna take that, take that, that leg also. So it's the same thing. Like I said, right there. I do the turning kick and a little side kick and then follow through. If he's still standing, the knee comes through also, right? Sometimes it's still standing. Sometimes I have to lower. Sometimes I kick him here. I kick him in the groin, but I got part of his thigh. I got part of the thigh, right? And then I do the side kick, but instead of hitting here, I hit too high. Understand? <laughs> and I turned him, and he went to there. That's the hammer for his one, two, but the groin kick didn't do the same damage. And I didn't really kick the knee, right? And he's coming up. So I hit, I gotta follow right through with the knee. Understand? Okay, so now, thank you. Good. If you're black belt, you're gonna alternate. High turn kick, groin turn kick. If you do one time, groin, groin, left and right side, next time do high, high, okay? Anybody else, when you move, you're gonna move, groin kick, a little side kick, hammer, hammer, strong key up. Okay, ready? So you're going that side first, and this side second. And, hana! Good. Pull! Very good. Set! Net. Good. So. Good. It's on. Good. You love. You love. questions. Well, I was asked a few questions about quick release. Keep it real simple. Who wants to be quick release? How does it breath? Okay. okay, first, the movement. Look, my arm is extended. It's extended. It extends. It goes only forward. It goes into them and I come this way. So think of your fingers reaching to touch them. 
bring this up. See this? I do this. I reach to touch their sternum or the solar plex with these fingers. As I push forward, then I bring the thumb to my solar plex and I twist my body. Footwork or stance, think of front stance, simple stance. Okay. You have to remember the simple building blocks. That way you don't have a problem. The problem comes when people start adding things. I said extend. Some of you do this. Is that extension? No, sir. Is that extension to you? Okay. So right from the very beginning, we're going the wrong direction. All right? So the beginner's handbook. I'm talking about effective listening, effective seeing. Understand? That's what I'm talking about. So now, one is a cross hand. Well, cross hand grab. So you can be, you can, or inside grab. You can be, I'm going to turn this over there. So you can be grabbed many ways this way. Watch. Now look, see my palm? Watch. See my palm's facing down. Look. Diagonal. Look. Look. That's first of all, you need to understand the basics are basics, then they expand to other techniques. So basic, to learn the principle, we're like this. See that? You have to get this first. When you understand this thoroughly, then all the rest are easy. You gotta get number one to really get number two. You gotta get number two to really get number three. When you have one to five, then you have 25 different techniques. Yes, you have five times five, 25. So, starting this way, I, here's his arm. My fingers go this way. Look, you see that? Right up the arm. At no point do I do this because when I do this, he's winning. So some of you don't quite get that. Everybody push up position. Two palms, two palms, two palms. Okay, can you almost extend it out? Imagine I was on your shoulders like this, press it down. You can, you can, you can, you can handle it. You can handle it. That's extension power. So look, this is where we are. If some of you want to do this to begin your technique. Bend your arms to here. Bend it there. Bend it, bend it, bend it more. What's that feel like? What's that feel like you're fighting yourself? Understand? Okay, <laughs> on your feet. So, there's a time for contraction power. There's a time for extension power. Two different types of power, okay? Broken line, straight line. This is extension. So, I, I go like this, up his arm. Up his arm. Let's, let's this way. See this? Up his arm. See that? I'm not going that way. <laughs> I'm going. Yep, so what just happened? You see what just happened? So I'm going forward. I'm the wave going forward. And when I reach the obstacle, what's the wave do? Right? Right? That's your patch. Okay, so. Number one is the core, is inside grab. I go up the arm, turn it. Number two is the outside grab. What do I do? It's the same exact thing. Up the arm, turn it. Number three is what? What's number, th what's number three? The same thing. One plus two. <laughs> Good, yes. So one plus two. Four, two, plus one, all right? I come up the arm, it's a little, little more difficult, you got two arms, I come in and then I twist. Same movement, understand? So, now, Arwan, I get you're in Spain. George, I get you're in France. Everybody's everywhere. You got to find bodies, understand? You got to find bodies. And some of you already have discovered that the fine bodies, you still gotta be careful. Cause you attract a lot of attention. And sometimes the attention is not good. When they find out how much you know, how well you know it, a little tricky. Okay, so, one. See, coming in. In, twist, all right? Oh, by the way, I'm showing you this hand, but two hands are always in play. So one, in, and I twist, my hands are here. See that? Number two. 
I, I, I press into him, in and twist. Don't look at the guys. And number three, three step more difficult. That's why you learn one and two. If you have one and two right, you can handle three. I come in and twist. Good. Now, can you practice on your own? Of course. Ana. Pull. Set. If you just do that, you will keep improving your quick releases. Understand? So, well, that's stage one, right? Stage two, same thing with the hand now. Right? Right counter. Number two. This way. Where's the hand now? You see that? We're in counter. Number three. Base number three. You get to choose from number one, number two. But two is better because you're on the outside. Understand? So first stage is quick release. Second stage is quick release for capture. The first one is yin, just getting free. Second one is yang, capturing. Understand? Okay, so if you have that four, five, six, this is really easy. But you have to make sure you understand the principles, the basic blocks of one, two, and three, then the rest is easy. Now, I was asked also about, okay, think it's Dahe. Dahe, oh, it's a poor soul calling here, but not getting us. Okay, so, Look at my height. Luckily, I'm not even, I'm not 200 or something pounds. Look at her height. Nice little musician, guitar player. And I'm coming, I'm gonna grab it, throw it to the ground, stop my hand, all that kind of stuff like that, right? Or grab it, pull into a van. So, next level. Okay, quick release is really beginning, beginning, beginning stuff. Next level is this. You have a number system. All the strikes, all the blocks, all the kicks, all the, the, the counters, right? That's the numbers. And you have an alphabet system. Well, actually, it's more reverse. Il, E, Sam, Sa, O, Yuk, Chill. Understand? Now, that's a lot. That's a lot. The reason it's called martial arts is this. You're going to get all the colors. You're going to get all the brushes. You learn how to make a circle. Then you learn how to make a sphere. Then you learn how to make a shadow. Then you learn how to give more depth to the picture. You're going to add color. It keeps changing. But it's not a factory. We don't all paint the same exact picture because you're a work of art, 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 work of art and, and progress, understand? So, along the way, you have to learn which techniques best suit you. You don't need 15 techniques for the same choke. You need two or three that works best for you, understand? You wanna learn them all, you, you, you're a music major, Maybe you learn violin, maybe you learn cello, maybe you learn flute, French horn, a few things. But then maybe you focus on strings or focus on brass, right? And then you master that. Like Haley, flute and fourth because of sax, then you master that. But because you understand all the instruments, you now have what it takes to lead an orchestra. Because you understand all the instruments. In martial arts, now you have what it takes to go up against somebody who's 270, very stocky, somebody who's maybe two or three feet taller than you, somebody who's faster than you, somebody who's maybe stronger than you but the same size. You can deal with anything, understand? That's the point. So now, quick release is, is big, low levels, okay, that's, that's important. Now. We have outside, okay, don't hurt me. Don't hurt me. This is where someone gets hurt. 
the woman gets nervous and the pressure, they, they, they put it on me. I'm teaching you correctly so your stuff works. Understand? Do not hurt me. <laughs> I just got treatment for grandma's a joy. Twice. Okay. So, outside grab and inside grab, or same size grab, or, uh, or inside, um, or cross hand grab. You only need a couple of techniques. He knows what works best for you. The things that work better for Dahe that work terrible for me. I gotta work 10 times harder to make it work, where she can make it work using 10 times less effort. Okay, for example, 0 for 1, right? So, okay. You think I'm joking? Trust me, I've been kicked in the groin, I've been hit in the throat, I've been had staff thrusted in my eye, I had it all. Okay, so, so how do you enter for O? No, wait, wait. More. Don't get nervous. Oh, there you go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, don't get nervous. But so how? So see my position? Get her, right? So how would you do O? Oh, but I already mean this is the beginning point. Keep going, keep going. Continue. Continue. No, 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 Okay. Hey, the walls are all the Come on, come on. So look, this is correct. Look. It's correct. I'm struggling. Okay, let me go. Keep holding, keep holding. Some of you do this. See that? Look. Now look. Understand? But that's Dahe understands. It's one of her key techniques. She can grab that way. She's going that way right away. Right? Do it again slowly. And, right? I can't do much about that. So hit my head the pavement. Now, so that's all. What about cross? Easy, 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 easy. <laughs> you heard that, right? You didn't hear that. You just cracked my wrist. Okay, easy. Okay, so. Good. Yes. Look, look, look. Okay, okay, good. Very good. So you see, that works. Now, if she tried one on shoulder throw on me, she had to work 10 times harder. Okay, that's some of our techniques. So the thing is this, you have to, especially if you're both on a black belt, bring that means you have all the basics. Basics, remember that. You have all the basics. You have to now tailor the art with your body, your body type. Just like you must tailor your technique. Some of you are really warmed up early in the morning, but kind of stiff later in the evening. You know, you're more early in the evening, especially in the morning. Some of you are the opposite, really kind of stiff in the early morning. But by 6 p.m., you're like, hey, I'm loose, I'm ready. So what's that mean? That even your technique has to change. Same thing with the seasons. It's cold out there. Your neck and shoulders are feeling it. You just don't realize it. Okay, you're gonna do this. So low level. You don't see it, it's doing this. And that's why you have to do the pre warm exercises. Extra, your hips are feeling it. You take your fingers, go like this, you don't feel too much tissue there. It's thin, okay? So your hips are feeling it and it's getting into the bones. So that's why you sometimes feel stiff there in here. So what's that mean? In the winter time, which is extreme yang, you got to do extra yin. Extra yin, extra stretching. Hot bath like that, you have to. So everything changes. So you have to find which techniques work best for you. So if you're shorter, this all slow. Okay. If you're shorter, go ahead. Technique's going underneath. See, because you want underneath. It's easier. If you're shorter. For me, I can do it, but it's much harder. So I have to make myself very short. See what comes down to the knee? But if you're taller, for example, you cross me. If you're taller, it's easy. 
easy to do upper body techniques coming over. Grab the other one. If you're taller, it's easy coming over the top. So now, when I say if you're taller or shorter, you gotta think in terms of in relation to your attacker, where you're talking. Understand? So, right now I'm tall, but there may be a guy that's the same, same height as you, 350 pounds. That's why I to deal with that. Understand? All right, thank you. Okay, so, for all of you, especially higher rank, we're all going to be in the same place, same time, when you know it. Trust me. So, begin, make sure you sharpen your technique. Sharpen your technique. But at the very least, quick releases. So, follow me. Slowly. Right here. Going forward. And now. Good. Again. Right hand, pull. Again. Set. Again. Net. Again. So, very good. So we just did number one, two, and three at the same time. You can tell the difference. Now, same thing. We're gonna step in and ah! striking outward. So look, you have hammer fist if you're below. Knife hand to the throat, if you're above, if they're too close, outside elbow. You need all of them. Okay, so, ready. No! Oh! Good, again. eventually and I have captured when I come on top it's right here now no matter where I grab top to the top or the knee I can still alternate whether to strike I can still strike top I can still strike bottom right why right the top and bottom or bottom top and bottom. Okay, thank you. 
So your homework is simply this. Figure out, do it slow, do it fast. On top, meet, both sides. Okay, and I do believe out of those 800 videos on the YouTube page, you know, 670 something, uh, more than that, on the app, I do believe Quick Release is on there. Is it? I can't remember. Okay, if it's not, I will put it on there, okay? All right, shake out your wrists. Ankles, shake the body. So, I see this, look, this is what I see. You guys don't see that. But I'm looking, I'm seeing multiple pictures, and I see this. It tells me that there was a lot of tension there before class even started. You have to do the work. Okay, see this? You gotta do that. You gotta do your, the pre warm up. You have to do that. Otherwise, we gotta do it in class. If we do it in class, that's gonna chop, that's gonna chew up your class time. That means that I'm teaching less and having you do stuff that you could do on your own. Understand? Sir. Sir. Okay, so. Oh, another question was, I don't know why. This question's about a step key breathing. Okay. Bend the legs. This is the high horse. This is the high horse. This is the low horse. Okay. There are two horse stands. So, this is the horse riding stance. See that? That's what this is, the low horse. You practice eight step key breathing. Every time you practice horse stance, you practice from here. All right? That's the greater. Then there's also the lesser. This is the high horse. Yes. This is the horse that was used. When, when they were riding, they were riding, right? There's a bow. Horseback archery. It was, they would not make contact here because the horse does this, right? So you had to be above and learn how to ride that, right? So I'm not sitting on the horse. I'm in the sternums, right? So you're here, and I'm sure. So it's a high horse. Understand? Sir. So it's two horse stances. And you can do a thick heat breathing from either. Each one has a different value. So let's do it from here. So, and then one, look, palm is facing down. Palm is facing down. That's the starting position. Because I know it's what the Nori Jung is on, on, has, a, has a show on YouTube, and eight step key breathing had nine steps. So you saw that. Those eight steps. This is the beginning. So one, inhale. Two, exhale. Three, inhale. Arms facing in. Four, exhale. Five, palms are facing up. Six, exhale. Seven, palms are facing up, going up the outside. Eight, inside down. See that? And here we are in this position. Sometimes when we're starting, people bypass this very, very, very beginning part and we come up. You see this, see that? You just, you, just, you just see this, you see one, right? But it's actually starting here, okay? So one, one more time. So one, inhale, two, exhale, palms flat, so not like this. Stretch those palms, good. Three, inhale, four, exhale, five, inhale, palms flat, so not like that, palms flat. Six, exhale. Seven, inhale. And eight, exhale. And all the movements, your shoulders have to be down and relaxed. One more time. One, inhale. Two, exhale. Three, inhale. Four, exhale. Five, inhale. Six, exhale. Seven, inhale. Eight, exhale. Good, good. All right, check out your wrists, ankles, and the body. 
Let this forward. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Sure. Like those. Sure. Yeah. There's rank. Sure. Yeah. There's chunks in here. Sure. Yeah. So next time.